Anatol. Today we're here to talk about the all new Rapid Wave with a temperature sensor. So when you plug in your Rapid Wave quartz flash, it will automatically recognize it and it will turn it into a flash head and this will be the window you get. If we have our sensor enabled, we should be able to switch back and forth by hitting this button and turning the sensor on or off. If this does not appear, we need to go to the setup button here, type in 669 and make sure our sensor is enabled. If it says disabled, we want to turn it on. Once it's turned on, we then have the option of switching back and forth easily. So this is our standard rapid wave quartz flash window. I can easily switch back and forth between e two easy presets by clicking the check mark to the different one, just like the presets in the radio on your car. To change the times, I can easily hit this button, set my desired time, and it'll come up here. If I want to quickly switch from 7.2 seconds to 1 second, that's all I have to do. We also have the preheat button which tells our flash to turn on before the pallet gets to the flash, basically when it's leaving the head prior to warm up and get hot ahead of time. By using this we can shorten our flash times. A lot of people have problems burning if you use this if you don't use it properly, so please be careful. The last thing we want to talk about on this window is the intensity setting. This is a new feature for Aries 2 and this allows us to control the temperature of our flash right from our monitor. By setting it at a different percentage here we can control the percentage of heat at our flash unit. If you want to use this feature we recommend turning your flash knob all the way up and controlling from here or leaving at 100% here and controlling at your unit itself. So now that we've gone over our basic flash settings, now we're going to go over how to use the temperature sensor settings. Alright, once again, to switch back and forth to our temperature sensor, we're going to hit the quartz button. We're going to turn the sensor on, and now we have a different window. You also will notice that we get our temperature appearing on our palette. So once you've enabled the sensor and you want to turn the sensor on, again we hit the quartz button. We can turn the sensor on here and we can switch back and forth from Celsius to Fahrenheit here. This is our new flash window. We can set our temperatures here. If we want 250 degrees, we can type in 250 degrees. This tells us how long it wants us to hold that temperature for. So what the flash unit will do is get to full temperature and try to hold it for your specified time. Again, we have our preheat button. We have added standby time to help you keep your flash warm in between prints and our standard test button. Alright guys, thanks for coming to check out the Anatol Rapid Wave Quartz Flash Temperature Sensor. Hopefully this was a helpful video to help you learn to navigate your all new flash unit. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at service at anatol.com. Check us out on social media at Anatol Equipment.